I'm not looking at these as sheep anymore. They're just, um, they're wolves. There's 63 wolves in sheep's clothing. <laughs> the light and the dark, the, the good and the bad. You know, America's pretty cornbread and buttermilk as far as us coming up with the over the over the top, you know, designs. So I started going to the east and they're pretty good with filling up the space with, uh, you know, ornament. My name is Andy Messerschmidt. I am a visual artist living in Ely, Minnesota. These come from all over. These are from a, a clip clip art book of uh, Muslim designs, I think from like the 1600s. And then I'll go to, uh, if you remember techno culture from the mid 90s, the <laughs> fire starter, I'm the fire starter. And the Islam tradition, this sort of shape is called uh, a mirab actually. It's like a uh, implied window to fall into. You know, something that you can just look at and just lose yourself and you just fall into the kind of meditation, uh, the kind of dangerous, maybe a dangerous meditation of kind of culture and landscape. This is a Michael Jackson with ultra plastic surgery Halloween mask. Sometimes I steal my daughter's stickers. This is just straight gift wrap itself. Alien figures, diamonds. Just the level of detail on this piece of replicating, self-replicating imagery. Very, very interesting. I was really drawn to the in intricacy. I think I got into them just being a, a Midwest farm boy. Essentially, it was something exotic. From 50 feet away, like what, what do you automatically see? And there's something, there's something about symmetry. You know, from there, I like to keep the, the symmetry detailed and, and pull people in even farther. You know, if you're a foot away, um, there's hidden little things there. There's little gems to find. People, I think people like to treasure hunt a little bit, you know. What's ugly for one period, a decade later, could be, <laughs> could be just the most beautiful thing. So, I don't know. Maybe they'll have to sit around for years or, I don't know. Maybe these will, a few years from now, they will reek of the, the 2010s generation, I don't know.